nothing I can make time. Hi, I'm Christine and I'm a UX designer working in San Francisco. Most people outside of tech are familiar with the term UX designer, but my official job title is actually product designer. And that's also a more commonly used term here in the Bay Area and in tech in general. But for those of you who aren't familiar with what a UX or product designer does, I basically design apps and websites. And when we're talking about product here, we're not talking physical products. We're talking about apps like Yelp, Facebook or Spotify. We're called product designers because we don't just do UX or UI. We actually own the entire product from initial ideation to tweaking pixels right before rollout. We cover product strategy, visual design, interaction design, user research, understanding data and metrics, and also content strategy. I had made a similar video two years ago, and most of it was my skincare routine, but I wanted to give a more thorough view of what my day looks like as a UX designer. Also, you might notice that there's a huge contrast in my hair length. That's because a lot of the footage was taken about a year ago, and it's taken me a whole year to finally get to this. So don't worry, I am staying home during this pandemic. It is driving me crazy, which is why I'm finally editing this video. So come follow along. I like starting the day as early as 6 a.m. because most people are still sleeping at this time and I feel the most productive in the morning. I like taking the time to do my little morning skincare routine. It's probably my favorite part of the day besides eating breakfast and lunch. In tech, there's a very low bar when it comes to looking nice for work. You can pretty much show up to work without washing your hair or face or wearing sweats because the engineers have set the standard so low. But I normally like to dress up because it gives me a boost of confidence when I like how I look. I also try to spend a few minutes journaling and drawing before going to work. I commute into the city where my current employer Instacart is located. I love coming into an empty office because I can have some quiet time before people start trickling in. And I don't have to reply to incoming emails or notifications of Slack messages because most people are still sleeping. But first, I need to get my coffee and make myself some breakfast. I like to make a to-do list of my priorities for the day. This helps me to not feel overwhelmed and stay focused when I become distracted throughout the day with meetings and other incoming tasks. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Instacart, it's an online grocery delivery service. It has two apps. One is the customer app where people place orders, and the other one is the shopper app, which is similar to an Uber driver app. I designed the onboarding experience of the shopper app, specifically helping people who want to make side income using Instacart to successfully sign up. These are some of the designs that I worked on. Every day looks a little different for me as a UX designer. On Mondays, I have weekly standups with my team where everyone goes around and shares status updates on the projects they're working on for the week. On other days, my mornings are spent iterating on designs, brainstorming strategy, or documenting design changes. A lot of tech companies in the Bay Area offer catered lunch. This is probably one of my favorite perks of working in tech. I don't have to worry about meal prepping or spend $15 eating out every day. In the afternoon, I have design critiques where designers get together, present their work, and give feedback to each other. Usually in a design critique, I share the business and user problems, goals connected to the problem space, and my proposed solutions. I'll go through any user flows, stylistic choices, interactions between screens, and any qualitative or quantitative data used to reach decisions. As a UX designer, I'm constantly presenting to a different audience such as product managers, engineers, and cross-functional partners. Depending on the audience, I have to figure out how much context I need to give and how technical I need to get. Designing is only really half the work. The other half is being able to articulate my design decisions and help both designers and non-designers understand my work so they're all included in the process. I make sure to have a little afternoon snack and some heads down design time. In summary, my job is 50% designing, which includes auditing current designs, strategizing how to scope out my project, and working on visuals, minute interactions, content, and copy. 30% is meetings. I'm either presenting or having discussions with my teammates on project priorities and strategies. The last 20% of it is using data to inform my designs. This can include conducting usability tests with my user researcher or understanding current conversion rates and metrics to have a better understanding of the problem space. As you may already know, working in tech comes with a lot of perks. Some of the perks include free t-shirts and happy hours with free pizza and beer, 
unlimited paid time off where I can take as much time to travel and rest, flexible work from home policy, and fun offsites once a quarter. Wow! Yeah, they're on the. This looks like amazing. Ribs, so like, dig it. What is that? Oh, that sausage. Yeah, sausage ribs, pork, oh, wow. chicken somewhere. Oh, chicken tenders here. Whoa. Amazing. More cars. I usually leave the office around five, and occasionally I'll attend design events or other offices for free food. Gotta make sure you get that free food from friends. But normally, I go to a yoga class to get some endorphins in my body. When I get home, I sometimes order fried chicken and watch a Netflix documentary, or I edit a video or take an online class through Skillshare. They have lots of great courses, and you can get your two free months by using my link in the description box. And make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, or you want to learn more about UX, or you just want to get to know me.